So are any of these bangers? Do they deserve a sticker? Yo, you alright? What's up? We're back for another one. I'm your king, the Whiskey King, and this is my jester. Oh! We got a really interesting battle. Yeah, yeah. Bat battle. Yeah. Let's gonna go at it. It's a battle of the sketch. Throw you boys a comment. Hit the like button. Follow us on Instagram at Whiskey King Reviews. We're gonna be posting it on there and on YouTube. So make yeah, sure to yeah. stay tuned, hit the bell notification that way you get notified. We got the Abalor Abunada. Ab oh, no wait. Oh, the uh, Abunada. Uh, Abunada. Abunda? Let's let the jester do this one. Yo, pronounce that for the audience. A Bunda. That's it. <laughs> A right. It's a cast strength space side single malt scotch whiskey. This one is matured in a Spanish Olorosa sherry butt. It's non chill filtered. And me and him, we both kind of started out with simple scotch, but then we moved on to more full bodied, full flavored, cast strength American spirits like bourbon and rye. And when you revisit scotch after having that, most of them taste kind of watered down. So if you're the type of person who likes a really full flavored mouth explosion whiskey, then cast strength scotch is definitely your jam. So we're gonna be comparing this Abalor cast strength to the Glenlivet Medora and the Oban uh, 21. The Glenlivet Medora, that is a uh, cast strength sherry cask as well. So it'll be kind of similar. These two are in similar price point, but I threw this one in just for shits and giggles, because who doesn't want to shit and giggle? <laughs> the Oban 21 is interesting. What's weird is it actually has serving facts on the back. 142 calories per shot, zero gram of carb, zero gram what? of fat, really? and zero gram of protein. I've never seen that on a huh. whiskey bottle before. So I'm thinking these should be comparable uh, because they're all cast strength, sherry cast, but the Oban is definitely different. Dry coastal aroma, intense smooth sweetness, and a fresh spicy finish on the tip. We're gonna do the Avalor first. Cheers. Let's and we'll give ratings all the way through, and we'll tell everybody what we think along the whole way and what our favorite is. With the cigar, I like to see with and without to compare to see how the cigar affects the flavor. Hmm. Kind of like a uh, steak and a wine. Try the wine on its own. Try the steak on its own and then you go back and try them together hmm. and see what the difference is. That's what right. we'll do it that way. Right. Yo, yo, that's a pro tip. Pro tip. Loads of cherry. Mm. Dude, so much cherry yeah. fruit. Like black cherry fruit. Blast in there. Wow. Sherry cask is coming through. A little vanilla on the tones. Some spiciness, but limited. Yeah, a little cinnamon. That's a thumbs up on the nose, man. That's a really nice cast finish scotch, bro. Wow. Well, wow, the finish is still going, too. I know. A lot going on there. Um, before I even tell you what I think. Thumbs up on the palate and yeah. thumbs up on the finish. Yeah. A little different than McCallum because this is a lot more towards darker fruit flavors where McCallum could be more like berry. So I get tons of cherry. The sherry cask butt is coming through. Some vanilla, some baking spice. A little cinnamon. Beautiful finish. Um, it's really nice. I think as this warms up too, it's probably gonna get even better. And the mouth feels really good. The Love finish is great. A cast strength scotch is very nice. That's where it's at for scotch, in my opinion. So we're gonna do back to back on all these. Let's get right into it. Glen Livet and Dora. Uh, this is right around the same price, by the way, 80 to 100 bucks. So this could be a good comparison. Yeah, yeah. Oof. The other one was so much flavor on the nose. This one's like almost non-existent. 
I mean, I get some ethanol in this. It's kind of like, um, like barrelly with hints of like salty brininess yeah, but and alive. some fruit. Salty brine coming through for some reason. Yeah, this is gonna be a thumbs down on the nose for me. Hopefully it tastes better though. It's good, but it's not great. The Abelor is definitely better. You're getting some of that smokier peat that I think is coming through. There's hints of sherry cask, but it's subtle. There's hints of fruit, but it's subtle. But there's like this undertone of like salty, briny flavor. I think this well, one... Apricot, vanilla, caramel with that smoky peaty finish. Yeah, I would agree. I'm going to give this a thumbs up on the palate. Yeah. And a thumbs good. up on the finish. Yeah. So yeah. it's really going to be up to the Oban and the Abelor to see who could win in the Scotch battle. Chocolate covered espresso bean, for those of you who don't know. Great palate cleanser. Right, this is the Oban 21. Cast strength. Hmm. Those are subtle. No ethanol at all. Not much going on, to be honest. But I'm getting like hints of sherry. Get more of a berry note coming out of this. Like more like a raspberry, blackberry. Yeah, the berry's coming out now too. I smell it. There's also that salty, briny undertone as well. I like the nose better than the Glenlivet Medora. You get that briny smell in the second one, but with now this get, one, it smells like more of a sweeter, brinier smell for some reason. You now, know? yeah, I'm getting some spiciness now too. That's a thumbs up on the nose. I smell. like it because it's, it's like different. you're trying to figure it out. Yeah, you know, it's and, different. And it has me guessing. You understand what it is, and, and it's good. Let's go in for it. Whoa. That's the right amount of peat smoke on that. Holy oh. shit. Immediate reaction for me. Wow. Thumbs, thumbs up, up palette and thumbs up finish. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Now, I did like the nose better on the Apple or than this. But the flavor and the smoothness and how the finish kicks in, I'm probably going to give it. It makes me kind of want to drink a little more. Let me just go back for another Yeah, let's step. go back and revisit because there's actually quite a bit going on. Yeah, there's a lot going on. Fruit notes, raspberry, blueberry, strawberry, followed by like this salty, apricot, peaty brininess. Exactly. Mixed with like some sherry cast notes, I'm getting a little bit. And the finish just keeps going. But there's like this like kind of like coastal sense to it. Smoke in the background. Yeah, with a little hints. It's so interesting to me to see how hmm. different each bottle could be, not from barrel to barrel, but also how the area in which it's produced affects the flavor. This type of drink, this spirit, you know, you right? This spirit is poetry in a bottle. There's so much effort and love that goes into making this stuff and so many people disregard. Like, this has been sitting in a barrel for 21 years and now you're finally getting to experience it. It took 21 years to produce that experience of nose palette finish. So are any of these bangers? Do they deserve a sticker? This I think just edges it out for me for number one. Yeah. Just edges it slightly. out. But slightly. And this is a very, very close number two. But if you add price into the situation. Then this is the best bang for your buck, the Abelor. If money doesn't yeah. matter. That's a good bottle for the price. Go for the open. And then this is still good, but it's just slightly different. So I'm smoking the Perez Carrillo. This was rated the number one cigar. The draw on it's really easy. It's rolled really nice. And I did an X cut, so it's a double V cut. I did a double V on his. I got to back. To back. A special. The point of doing a cigar with it is to see if we pick up any differences in notes. So I think we should go back and revisit each one with the smoke and see what we think. Drinking the Oban and then smoking this, I'm picking up more on that salty, briny, smoky attributes. So out of all three of these, I think the Oban is gonna pair the best with the particular cigar I'm smoking. Because it has that salty, briny undertone to it, it lends itself very well and complements this cigar. Second choice would be the Abelor, because it has the fruity, black cherry contrast for a cast strength scotch if you got the money 
just do it. And keep in mind, we're not getting paid to do this. It's just cool to hang out and do this experience. So it's a snowy day today. We have the day off of work. Yo, look at all this snow. <laughs> Whiskey King approved. Yeah. Oh, this one could be like kind of up a little bit. Shit. Fuck. Oh! Whoa, 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 Shit. whoa, 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 whoa. Thank you for staying tuned. Appreciate you watching. If you like this, let us know what you want to see next. We've got a lot of cool bottles lined up for reviews. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at Whiskey King Reviews. Subscribe, hit the bell notification, throw some likes, throw some comments. We appreciate you checking it out. Till next time. To back.